I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to the game, this is the best style to learn first because it is based on the original way to play the game, but the scoring's been simplified. Once you learn how to play Hong Kong Mahjong, you'll have a short learning curve for any other version. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. If you haven't downloaded the player reference yet, look for a link below the video so that you can refer to that as I do these random pulls because I'm going to talk about some of those scoring elements. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, east, south, west, and north. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we might be in because those two variables can affect decision making. I rolled a 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. That would be player two, south, south seat, east round, non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. In most games, there's a fawn minimum. In our group, we play with a three fawn minimum. And online, when you play at Mahjong time, there's also tables with minimums. So I like to practice with a three fawn minimum. So I think the first thing we should do is replace flowers. We are in seat two. It is east round. We've got three flowers. Well, two flowers with number threes on them. Those are not gonna count. You have to get the flower with your seat. So we would need twos. So we'll get replacements. For these tiles, I think what I would do is discard these and play a half flush. Half flush is where you focus on one suit with winds and dragons, any combination. The challenge here is these are singles. We would need to pair them up so that we could pung them. But we do have potential chows here and a potential pung. So this is a potential pung, potential chow, potential chow. Pung is three of a kind, chow is three in a sequence. So we would need to just pair these up and draw in more dots. I would get rid of these first. Play half flush. South round. I rolled an eight. So we are C4 north We have a number two flower that's not going to help because we're in seat four this is going to be a challenge because we have three four four no pairs at all so i think with this set of tiles i would probably hold these and see if we could pair up and then maybe just play defense hope for a better start with the next round because if we went for all three in a sequence, which are called chows, we do have three in a sequence potential in every one of these blocks. 
potential four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. But all chow is only one fawn. Also, if you mix suits with a pung, chows do not count. You would have to be in one suit or one suit with honors. So I think what I would do here is discard these first since it's the fewest for that suit. Then see if bams or cracks come in and maybe play half flush with one or the other. Or try to pair up and pung these and maybe get a flower because a pung of any dragon is a fawn and so is having your own flower. So we would need a number four flower to get to three fawn plus maybe two dragon punks. Or again, try to force a suit, either bams or cracks. I think that's how I would try to play this. Most likely half flush or defense. I rolled a five, so we're gonna be the dealer this time. And we are West Pole. For these tiles, I think I would try to play all Pung because we have a Pung and mixed suits and here's a pair. So I would hold the red dragon probably to see if we could pair up in Pung and try for all Pung, all three of a kind. So we would have to draw really well to pair up these single tiles. Let's see, did I get enough? No, we get one more because we're the dealer six we didn't even pair up as the dealer you start with an extra tile because you discard to get the game going so that last tile did not help so we would need to pair up pung here pair up go for all pung all three of a kind I rolled a five, so we're gonna be the dealer again. This time, north round. Okay, we got a flower. This is a four flower. We won't get score for that. So for this set of tiles, because we have mixed suits, I think I would push for half flesh, but I would hold this to see if we pair up and play all pung because we do have another pair here. So discard these first discard these see if we pair up for all pung which is all three of kind or if we draw in cracks and these honors we could pung those and play half flesh with cracks and winds and dragons i think that's how i would do this one discard these first i hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play hong kong mahjong if you're new to the game don't forget to look below the video to a lesson playlist and a link to this player reference. It's quite easy to learn, really. Give it a try and don't be intimidated by the Asian tiles. They're really easy to memorize and 
in this play a reference, there's a legend at the bottom, just in case you have a little trouble. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.